Step four, relocate a dimension. Simply grab the dimension line, hold it, and you can drag it up and down. The number should be centered of the part, so it's best not to grab the number and move the number. Uh, these arrowheads will move it, but you don't want to move that. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. Again, grab a dimension line. You can move the dimensions out simply by grabbing the dimension lines. If the dimensions lines are not visible, pull the number out so you can grab the dimension line to move it. This dimension should be a half inch away from the main part. So this line to this dimension line should be a half inch. Or the zero should be no closer than 3 eighths of an inch to the part. To locate that, you can go to the tab called View. Go to the display grid. I happen to have already set that at a half inch. Okay, so these are quarter inch increments. I'm going to come down a half inch and let go. Now, if I move this over a half inch, that zero could get too close to that. So you might want to move it over to where the zero is approximately a half inch, maybe not quite. And again, this aligned dimension you would want to move to be approximately a half inch. Nobody's going to measure it. Just make sure it's not like this where it's so close to the part they know it's not right or way far away. Just make it look like it's about all the same all the way around. And that's how you relocate your dimensions. Turn your frame off and you are complete.